Welcome to St. Paul Harley-Davidson. In today's demonstration, we're going to be going through the process on how to put your security equipped vehicle into transport mode. Your security system will disable both the starter and the ignition system as part of the theft protection. If it detects a theft, then it's going to go into an alarm. Um, that's going to include flashing alternately left and right are your turn signals. If you have a siren installed, the siren will also go off. And if you have a pager, accessory pager system, then it can even page you. The other feature that you may have bumped into pushing your bike around the garage or if you just bump into it without uh, the fog present or if it's armed, is that it will go into a temporary little quick motion detection alarm. It's that motion detection that we're looking to disable when we put a bike in transport mode. This process can be handy anytime you want to temporarily uh, take the motion detection feature off, uh, particularly when you're trailering the bike. If you don't do that when you're transporting the motorcycle, then just the vibration and jostling of the motorcycle is going to put it into a theft attempt for, for the motion and that's going to get you probably a dead battery when you arrive at your location just from the lights going off the whole time you're traveling. So with all the changes that took place in the security system over the last two decades, anytime we're talking about features of the bike, we have to break it out by vintage and model in order to get the right procedure. Let's go take a look at how to put your bike into transport. When body control modules and CAN bus communication was introduced on Harleys, it simplified a lot of procedures, improved a lot of functionality, and it also created the opportunity to go keyless ignition. So if your bike does not require a switch or ignition key to be started, this video is going to apply. Putting these bikes into transport mode is super simple. We've got to make sure we've got a assigned and functioning fob in close proximity to the vehicle. Then we're going to use the handlebar runoff switch as our first input. We're going to go to run and then back to off before the security light goes out and push both turn signals at the same time. So run, off, both turn signals. We wait for feedback from the system to flash the lights three times release the turn signals. Now the bike's in transport mode. Motion is not going to set off the siren or an alarm attempt on this bike. You'll want to now take the fob out of proximity away from the vehicle to maximize your security and make sure the ignition and starter circuits are still disabled. And also you'll see to take it out of transport mode will bring the fob back into proximity and all you have to do is turn the run stop switch to run. It'll see the fob. All systems will now go back to normal functionality.